Let's now take a look at the image elements. As they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. So it's great to make a visually beautiful looking website and it's so easy to do that with Easy Web Builder. Grab the image from the left, drag it across to the right. So there's a full screen image. Here's a three quarter page image. And with all of the image elements, you want to change the picture, you click on it, and then the detail editor pops up on the left hand side and it will tell you the size of the existing image for you to go and upload by clicking here your image to replace this one. Every image you can add a link to it as well. So click on yes and then you choose a page that you link it to or an external link if you wanted to and the target of where you want that to go. So no, we don't want to add a link on that one now. If you want to remove it, uh, and every image, this is a really neat feature, every image can become a payment link as well, or a payment button, where we can accept either PayPal or crypto. I'll go more into payments when we get into the uh, shopping cart type section. I'll get more into payments when we get to that section shortly. So back here to our images on here, they all work the same way as I just mentioned then. So now let's go back and have a look at some more that we have here. So many different elements here to make a great looking website. This one's really good. We've got an image on the left and an image on the right. This is great for stacking a site where you've got lots of different features and so on on there. So you can go image left, image right, image left, image right. Change the image by clicking on it telling you the size of what the image is here. Let's go and look at some more. Go to images. Okay, this is a popular one here too. Image left, image right. If you want to remove the black line from here, you can just click on that and then remove it, change any of the text. You just highlight any of the text that you want to change and then the text editor comes up as well. And just like what we mentioned previously in the text one, you can go and add a link if you wanted to. You could say click here to such and such and then go and put the URL that you want it to link to. If you double click the icon, if you double click on the image, you can then, once we've got it open there, we double click on it. Damn, not working. Frozen. Okay, my computer is frozen. Oops. Okay, let's now go back and look at some more. Go to our elements, images. Okay, lots of different ones here. Full width with text on the top, full width text on the bottom. Two images, three images. Now all the elements where we have two or three of something, they're all lined up the same size. So you would have noticed before when we did the text section that you could go and drag and drop some text underneath these images too. All right here we've got three so you could drag and drop three lots of text but we've already got text and everything under here. Shortly we'll get to the buttons and you'll see that we've got a row of three buttons or a row of two buttons that fit perfect, perfectly underneath these two elements here. This is a popular one as well that can list all your different features and functions on there and you click on the image to be able to change that little icon on here. It's a 50 by 50 pixel. Make it a payment if you wanted to. Uh, link it off to somewhere else if you wanted to. Change the text by clicking on it on here and now your text editor uh, pops up for you on there. Go back to our elements. Go to our images. What else we got on here? Okay, larger size images here. Uh, we've got a combination of text and videos. This one here is pretty cool too. I'll go more into the videos when we get to the video section. And last, but by no means least, this one here is a real favorite for a lot of people because you can just keep adding more and more and more down the page here. So here for an example, this is a three-step process. But if you had a 10 step process, 
you would just go and change that to 10, okay, or change the text to whatever you want to read, and then you can just go and duplicate any of these. So whichever ones you want to duplicate, let's look at the bottom one. We just go and click on here, and now we want to add a step, yes, or remove a step if you want as well. So we can now go yes, and now it's added an extra one down here for us. We want to add another one, yes. We want to add another one, yes. And now we can go along and we've got step one, two, three, four, five, six different steps on there. We want to remove this last one because we've decided we only want five steps. We just click on the settings button here, come over here, remove it, yes. Click, bam, it's gone. Simple as that. I'll change the image, click on the image icon, and we can see it's 150 by 150. Make it a payment if you wish. So that shows you all the flexibility that we've got with our images. And like I said, a picture is worth a thousand words. So by designing your website, putting a lot of images across there makes it very visually appealing to your potential customers.